Hey everybody, Jake Rex, and today I am playing Dead or Alive 2 on the Dreamcast. Now, this is a game that I've wanted to play for quite a while, but I didn't have the cables for it, and also I didn't have the cables for the original Xbox, which I'm going to probably do in the future, but now I... Um, I have them and I'm really happy that I'm gonna be able to record myself playing games because I have four other great Dreamcast games um, for the system and I have uh, I don't really have many for the original Xbox but we'll see what happens I have Scarface the world is yours and I have um, uh, Halo 2 so that would be uh, good material to work on all right so let's get into this Alright, here we go. Story mode. I'm gonna play as Jan Lee. He was the first um, the first character I ever played on this series, so forgive me if I uh, seem a little bad at this. I haven't played this in years, but I think we'll be just fine. God, that is awesome. Yeah, Jen Lee is just, oh, just a, a a really cool character to play as. God, Zach, when I first saw this guy, I couldn't believe. Like, even though, like, like with any fighting game, once you learn the characters, like special moves and all that, it just he just comes quite someone to be feared. Like, even for like example, example, um, even for even for Zach. As an example, even though he looks like very goofy, like but with any uh, fighting character, like when I learned um, King's like spin throw, that was just like God. This character is just a really cool looking guy, and also another thing, um, I realized that when I recorded myself playing Resident Evil 4 on the GameCube, I realized that the uh, the video game audio was a little low so I think I, I fixed that I watched a couple of Game Grumps episodes and I tried to see if I can match the audio for that so I think I finally got it on that part you lose fool now what do we have here Lei Feng Lei Feng I tell you the first of this series that I ever played was the first one on the PlayStation, and I just remember seeing all those just like jiggling, uh, you know, I guess Team Ninja or whoever created this game has a sense of humor. And it was just made it so differently to, um, as, a, um, as a game, like, because to have like jiggling, uh, like, you know, titties or whatever, just bouncing while you're fighting, and like, I couldn't believe that. And also made it kind of awkward because I was, uh, it was like the 90s when that came out. Even though I was born in 1993, I was still able to play like all those 90s games like Siphon Filter, you know, Tekken 3, um, uh, Crash Bandicoon and all those other ones. You know, it was just kind of funny to see like what they all offered in some, in a, in a sense. And I realized that Bayman, I don't think Bayman is in this game. So they replaced him with Leon. And I remember when I was a kid just getting my ass beat by Bayman. Like he would do uh, a counter in this this way or something like that. And he was just brutal. It was just crazy. Uh, whoops. Yep, yeah, I slipped up there. But don't worry. You're in my way. The winner is me! And, like, sometimes we wish that some characters wouldn't say something like, I will be the winner! Yeah, God, that counter. Just crazy. And sometimes, like, even when you try to do a different move, it just doesn't work sometimes. The winner is me, yeah.
And the thing about uh, the Dead or Alive series, you know, even though it is a really uh, fun game, it can be very frustrating at times because I remember just to unlock every character in the fourth uh, entry in the game, like um, unlocking that um, Spartan and the other couple of characters, it was like, ah, come on, let me win! It's just frustrating as hell, I mean, it's just gone. Can you be any unfair? Like, you know? And, um, just like with any other fighting game, you realize, like, how much, how, like, still much of a novice you are. Like,. I remember I told that story about when I was a kid and I was at the boardwalk and some kid just beat my ass in Tech and Tag tournament with Heihachi and Kuma. And it was like, God, like, okay, like. And also the other thing is that, um, I just realized that it's totally different when you're playing because I never played any difficulty higher than uh very e than easy i think come on you old man like i said i haven't played this in years and like even when we were and also even though this was funny you know like to see the the bouncing titties and all that stuff um you know, it was still fun to watch, you know, like, for example, like, before, um, I used to go to school, me and my sister, along with my, uh, friend Rudy, we used to play, like, a couple of matches, and then, like, mom would say, all right, that's it, it's time to go to school, you know, like, so, you know, like, this game, or whatever game you play, is, like, it just gives you all those, uh, great memories. You know, so you should be thankful that you have the game that you did. You know, like, for example, for me, like, I I remember playing, like, um, in arcades, uh, the House of the Dead and House of Dead 2. And I remember when I was at, when I um, used to go to Blockbuster, I remember I used to see, um... Hold on a second... Like, when I, when I used to go to Blockbuster, I, I would always see games for consoles I didn't have. You know, like, for the Dreamcast, the House of the Dead. And, like, that came out for the Dreamcast? And, like, oh man. And other games that I saw were, like, Power Stone, which was a nut, which was, like, um, sort of, uh, something like Super Smash Brothers, but with a, you know, sort of like a, uh, third, I don't know, I would say third person kind of thing. Uh, Tengu. I'm ridiculous! I never lose. Yeah. Maybe with a couple of years worth, I I can probably feel confident in the character saying that. But right now, I have lost a couple times already. Ah! Stupid spirit! And I think there's a Tengu in the uh, the Neo game, and that's also a pain. Yeah, he's in the second, uh, the creature, the, the yokai, or whatever, is in uh, Neo 2. Come on. And I'm not sure if I can unlock Tengu in this game, I think. Probably. And of course, when you're playing a uh, fighting game, it's not easy to talk, so forgive me. Like, you make me laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard it all before. And, um, you know, even though this is a fighting game, and I know that, like, each genre is not for everyone. But I would recommend at least giving uh, Dead or Alive 2 a try because it's not that bad a game. Come on. Hey, oh. 
And this is not the only boss I think you face in this game. I think there's also the other one, which is in the uh, intro that they made. Kasumi, uh, I think it's Alpha or something. I don't know all the details. There we go. Oh yeah, he almost did that uh, environment change thing. Finally, he's dead. Well, beaten, not dead. I tell you, Jan Lee is just such a cool character. He was the first character that I ever played in this series. And you know, like even though he had um, a red uh, outfit and uh, in the uh, first one, you know, he still looks cool in this one and all the other games because they always give him a really cool outfit. Yep, saving that. And that was uh, me playing as Jan Lee on in Dead or Alive 2 for the Dreamcast. I totally recommend this game because it's really. Um, um, really good it's really good and you can tell it's very um fluent in some apartments some others probably would disagree but that's it that's the end of the video and i hope you liked it and this is jake rex and if you're gaming out there good gaming and good luck